In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the wavelength of light for a transition in the hydrogen atom. The question reads, determine the wavelength, lambda, of a light that is emitted when an electron in a hydrogen atom makes a transition from an orbital in n is equal to six to an orbital in n is equal to five. To do this type of question, we need to know several things. And all of those are laid out on the screen. The first is the energy of a photon formula. And there's a relationship between the difference of energy and the photon that will be explained in a moment. And we've already used this formula before. H represents Planck's constant, C represents the speed of light, and lambda is our target. So eventually we'll need to use some algebra where we manipulate this equation and have lambda equal to everything else. Now we're told that there's a transition from n is equal to 6 to n is equal to 5. What we have to do is we have to find delta E, and whatever delta E is, we take the absolute of it, and that's the exact same thing as the energy of the photon. Now there's two ways to find delta E. You can use this formula, or you can use this formula called the Rydberg equation. If you use this formula, you need to use this particular constant where the constant is negative 2 decimal 18 times 10 to the power of negative 18 and this factor is being multiplied to 1 over whatever n is. You take this and substitute it into here. For the sake of simplicity I'll be using the Rydberg equation instead. But mind you these two are the exact same thing just algebraically manipulated. So let's go ahead and set up what we have to do we are looking for delta E and the relationship with delta E and HC over lambda is shown here. So I'll write down the absolute of delta E is equal to H and that's 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds. That's being multiplied to the speed of light, 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Right away the seconds unit will cancel out this one and this one and this is being divided by lambda. Now I said earlier we'll algebraically manipulate this to solve for lambda and it's not hard to do. In fact you multiply both sides by lambda, divide both sides by delta E and you have lambda. But before we do that let's find out what delta E is. We'll use the Rydberg equation where delta E is equal to negative r sub h, that's right there, so we have negative 2 decimal 18 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules, bracket, 1 over n, and we're looking for n final here, so 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 over 6 raised to the power of 2. Let's go ahead and calculate that. We should end up with a negative number, negative 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18. And this is being multiplied to the expression inside the parentheses, which is 1 over 25. I took 5, raised it to the power of 2, minus 1 over 36. And we end up with negative 2 decimal 664 times 10 to the power of negative 21. Now, this needs to be to three significant figures, but I'll write beyond three significant figures and just make mental note of where I stopped. So I'll write down negative two decimal six six four four times 10 to the power of negative 20. And this is in joules. As I mentioned, this needs to be to three significant figures. So I'll put a dot underneath the six just to remember what amount of numbers I should have. Now, I'll take this number and place it into here. Notice that it's an absolute. This represents absolute. So we'll just take the magnitude of this number and not the negative. So what we have is 2.6644 times 10 to the power of negative 20. Notice that it became positive, and that's what happens when you put a number in this absolute. And that is equal to everything on the right side. So I'll transfer this number here. And now to solve, for lambda. I'll multiply both sides by lambda and divide both sides by this number. Our expression should look like this. Now we can go ahead and figure out what the answer is. So the numerator of this equation is 6 decimal 6 to 6 times 10 to the power of negative 34. That's being multiplied to 
3.00 times 10 to the power of 8. And the product here is being divided by the number underneath, 2.6644 times 10 to the power of negative 20. We end up with 7.46 times 10 to the power of negative 6. To three significant figures, we can write down 7.46 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So lambda is 7.46 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. Of course, you can write this in nanometers if you like, but it's strictly up to you. The question doesn't ask for it. If you'd like to see the answers to questions 2 and 3, make sure you watch part 2 of this lesson. We'll see you soon.